guys so i thought i'd pop on and do the i love drugstore makeup tag lots of people have been doing it i've been meaning to do it for ages but i just haven't got around to it so i thought i would do it now um yeah going through my stash it was kind of difficult really not because the um you know i'm not a big fan of drugstore makeup i love drugstore makeup but because i only ever really go out of my way to buy drugstore makeup when i know it's something i'm gonna like and that sounds a bit strange because how would you know but i kind of yeah, I kind of do a lot of research on drugstore makeup before I go and buy it. I know it's kind of silly, but I guess because drugstore makeup's got a little bit more expensive um, over the years, so I just kind of, I don't know, I think, well, if I'm going to buy a drugstore makeup, then it should be something that I really use every day. I know that's a strange way of thinking, because otherwise you just go out and put another couple of pounds to it and buy something high-end, couldn't you? So that's, that's my thinking in it anyway. But I do have a collection of products here that I really, really like. So, um, yeah. The first question is favorite drugstore makeup brand um this is a difficult one i uh, they all have really i don't know they have good products and each one has kind of like a good uh selection of various different things that appeal to me but i would have to say if i could only have one drugstore makeup brand uh, for the rest of my life it'd probably be l'oreal i like their eyeshadows i love their lipsticks i like their mascaras um i like their nail polishes um i love their foundations so yeah probably l'oreal uh favorite face cheek and lip products uh right well my favorite face product at the moment and it's really the best one i've tried in a long time is the maybelline dream satin liquid air whipped foundation this one is in nude um, I really 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 like this it looks like a very dark color actually but when you put it on I don't know it just kind of evens out and it looks really nice I love this um, this is I bought this when it, the uh, offer was on where you could get two things from Aileen for £10 which is a fantastic offer so I bought it then and I thought well I don't know whether I'll like it or not but you know £5 for foundation who can argue and I absolutely love it um, I prefer this over the other one that I picked up at the same time which is the uh, 24 hour Superstay just because I think this has, I don't know, this is just a little bit sort of lighter and uh, uh, I don't know, it's just sort of less mask looking, but they're very, very similar. And strangely enough, I do think this lasts a little bit longer than the 24 hour Superstay, so that's that's odd. But I really do like this. So this has become a, a firm favorite uh, in terms of foundations, not just drugstore, but just in terms of foundations. Um, another favorite face product, which I really couldn't live without, it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and <laughs> need a new one this one is in the shade transparent 001 and i really 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 like this um i did some research on it just because somebody mentioned it and they said that it looks fantastic on all skin tones uh whether you're really really dark really really fair transparent looks fantastic on everyone it doesn't leave a white cast it doesn't leave any color but it does mattify and that's really what i wanted and i have so much trouble with powders because i find that they when i put them on they look fine and then they kind of oxidize and they go orange on me and it just it just ruins the whole look so i wanted something that was just mattifying i don't need a color from my powder and this does the job i have repurchased this five times i, I love it but you, you it lasts for so long because you get 14 grams of product which is huge amount so i would definitely recommend transparent they do other colors they all kind of pretty much look the same but i don't know what they look like when they're on so i definitely recommend this one i wasn't going to mention this because you can't actually get it in like a boots or a super drug but you can get it online you can get it on ebay lots of people sell it i think everyone's always going to sell this because it's really popular and it's the myc smooth skin bronzing face powder in sunny and um, this is fab. I have this on today as my contour. It's just gorgeous. And I put off buying it for so long because everybody said they really liked it. And I just, I don't know, I'm a bit like that. I just thought, oh, I don't know. But then I thought, well, you know what? Was, this was like 270. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And I really, really, really like it. So yeah, um, this is, you can get this on eBay. And as I said, it's really cheap. These I love, you can get these at Superdrug, they're the accessorized makeup brand. I think these are really kind of like the closest thing we have to kind of like mineralized blushes on the high street. So this blush is absolutely fantastic. I really like it. As I said, perfect for this time of year. It's, it's really, really pigmented, gorgeous. And you don't need a highlighter with it. So um, I really like these blushes for drugstore makeup. And then uh, lip products, I would have to say the Revlon Lip Butters. Those are fab. I know a lot of people don't like them. I don't really know what people are expecting, you know. I mean, I don't know, they said they were, they were, they were too much colour and they weren't moisturising. Well, I think they're really moisturising and I love the fact that they're a colour because I just don't see the point of splashing out £8 on something that doesn't show up. So I never really get why people complain about that. You know, it's it's strange. So the Revlon Lip Butters, this one is in Candy Apple. I love that one. And then the L'Oreal um, Colour Reach Lipsticks. 
These are hands down my favourite. I think they're just fab. This one is in peach creme. Really lovely. Question three is my least favourite product. Uh, <laughs> that would have to be L'Oreal's True Match Foundation. I just I hate it. It's horrible. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, uh, I've spoken to a couple of other people that have used it and I've kind of given them my bottle to use and they've all gone, oh yeah, it's awful. So, um, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of people that do like L'Oreal True Match Foundation and uh, I've heard a lot of good things about the one that's in the States, which is in the bottle, the glass bottle without the pump on it. Maybe it's a different formulation, but for me, L'Oreal True Match Foundation is, I don't like it. So that would, that's easy. That's my least favorite product from the drugstore. I just, it, I just can't get it to work for me. I don't like it. Uh, best makeup bargain. Makeup bargain. Um, I think it would have to be uh, the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Kajal Eyeliner in Nude. This, I searched high and low for this. Um, and it was, it was released in various places around the UK before it was released where I live. And I kept looking for it and I was, I was expecting to kind of pay it upwards of like, I don't know, six, eight pounds. For because it's a nude eyeliner and these are kind of difficult to come across in high-end brands. So I was kind of expecting to pay a lot for it. This was $3.99, so I was absolutely shocked. This is something, I've got it on today, this is something I will repurchase forever. I think it's absolutely fab. It's just such a bargain. It's brilliant. It stays on the waterline all day. Uh, not too pink, not too peach, not white in the slightest. This is just, everyone should have this, I think. It's just fantastic. So that is definitely a bargain because I was expecting to pay a lot more for it than I did. Even though it's Rimmel, you just never know, do you? Uh, favorite underdog product. Favorite underdog product. Well, I think I'm probably gonna go back to the Rimmel Stay Matte because there are so many expensive powders from the drugstore, uh, you know, L'Oreal, Revlon, you know, there, there are lots of expensive powders you can find in the drugstore and I've used pretty much all of them and this one is absolutely my favorite. So I don't think this gets a lot of love because it's only $3.99 and it is by Rimmel, and I think a lot of people feel that if they pay a little bit more for the drugstore, they'll get, you know, a better quality. That's not actually the case with this, because this is absolutely fantastic, and it, it does what it says on the tin. Uh, it says up to five hours, natural shine control, with natural mineral, minerals, helps minimize the appearance of pores. It, it just does what it says, and you know, why pay nine pounds for a powder if you can just spend 3.99 and it lasts you ages? So I think that's probably my favorite underdog product, because it's probably something I would always recommend to somebody and you know they they wouldn't have thought about it before because it's cheap so that's probably my favorite underdog product um something that often gets overlooked oh well, well i just kind of covered that but i will say that i feel something that does get overlooked is the l'oreal lipsticks the color reach lipsticks um i haven't tried the ones with the serum in them i have swatched them i don't like them that as much but the the color reach lipsticks i think people kind of look at these and think they're a bit old-fashioned i think they're really classy and classic i don't think you can go wrong the packaging's gorgeous and the shades are so versatile you you have your brights they released um the really really bright ones uh the beginning of the year and you know those are beautiful as well but they're really pigmented and they're just i don't know they're just really luxurious i love the smell of them they smell like palm violets. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I do. And if you just want a nice slick of, of kind of like a tint, um, these are really, really good. But as I said, you can get lips, the, the lipsticks from the color reach range that are really bright and really vibrant. But you know, these are just a fail safe for me. I would always recommend these to people looking for a lipstick that was kind of not too in your face, but really natural and flattering and it kind of works with your natural coloring. I would just recommend these over anything else in the drugstore. Um, so I think these often get overlooked because people, I think, think they're a bit old fashioned, but you know, I, I love them. I think they're great. Product that is overpriced. Hmm. Um, I think a large majority of the products from Max Factor are overpriced. I know that they are touted as the makeup of makeup artists, but I just think they really need a brand overhaul. Um, at least, you know, to kind of get me to look at them and think, oh, that's good. Uh, I just don't think their products are, the, I don't know, I just, they just don't appeal to me really. So I think a lot of their things are overpriced. Um, yeah, and I, they, just, they just don't appeal to me, to be honest. Drugstore dupes, the best ones. Um, well, I would have to go back once again um, to the Rimmel Scandalize. I've been told this is a dupe for the Macromographic pencils. 
everybody thinks so. Any blog you look up, any review of it, any 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 video of it, people will sing the praises of it because it is just a fantastic pencil for the price. And yeah, uh, you know, uh, most people have said they prefer this over the macromographic pencil. So I think that's absolutely, I, I would say that that's probably the best dupe I can come up with. Also, um, this is a kind of a non-specific dupe, but still, the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. I know you can't get this in the drugstore, but it's only a fiver and you can get it online. So it's kind of staying within the same price. Um, this is very, very similar to a lot of higher end concealers. This is an under eye concealer. I've got it on today. It's hugely brightening. It kind of gives that really nice ethereal kind of highlighted under eye look and um, you know I've read a lot of reviews on this and they've said that a lot of people have said they prefer this to much higher end ones especially ones from MAC and things like that but I just think for a fiver if somebody did a blind test on me I would have said this product was like twice as much uh, probably even more so um I just think this is a really good little concealer and if you're kind of they do lots of different colors but if you're kind of into that really bright under eye look the one that I have is fair so I'd recommend that, um, especially if you're really pale, but if you really like bright under eyes, this is a really good one. It's only a fiver. And the last question, product that isn't worth the hype. Uh, this is pretty much easy for me. It's Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara. The one in the pink and the green tube, been around forever. Everyone raves about it. I don't like it. I just think it just doesn't do anything for my lashes and I have very long lashes and they are quite dark. So I just kind of think, well, if it can't do anything with my lashes, what does it do with with people that kind of struggle with their mascaras? I just don't like it. I just think it's totally overhyped. Um, I don't get it. So yeah, that, that's pretty easy. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. That was, uh, yeah, that was kind of fun to do. So if you've done one well, video like this, um, of this tag, then link it to, down below in a video response. And I'll approve that. I'd love to see that. Or just leave me a list. Um, you know, I'll post the questions down below and uh, just tell me what your favorite drugstore products are at the moment. So uh, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day, guys. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye, everyone.